I made that video asking when should we watch Memory of Snow and a lot of people are saying a lot of different things. People are saying you have to watch it after season one. The spoilers and then the other people are saying, listen, the spoilers are so insignificant. You've already seen them in the opening. It does not matter. Chronologically, I think it falls in line right after episode 11. We've just finished the arc at Roswell's mansion. And before we go to the next arc, I think it's appropriate to take a little bit of a detour and check out Memories in Snow. Let's begin today's reaction. It was a fearsome battle. Do I have to... Japanese? What the f... What does the English stuff sound like? It was a most fearsome battle. He should have spoken Japanese here. The English dub should have spoken Japanese there, bro. It was a fearsome battle. What's <laughs> happening? Rem! The we mansion! Are... Why is he speaking English right now? I, I, I don't know, but he's talking about the events of the, you know, the Arc 2. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You used Shamak and you did stab the bald shaman dog, but it didn't take any damage. Then Roswell says, Urgoa, boom, and then, you know, <laughs> you, got, you got bailed out, bro. What are you talking about? He's capping right now. Dang. Well-deserved days. Well-deserved. Go! Okay, that's... <laughs> Yo! Okay. This is not the... Okay, this is the second time we're seeing this Baba grope young men's asses. Listen. Put her in jail. This is sexual assault. Second time now? Granny, what you doing? But... <laughs> but... What is the timing? What is the timing of the dialogue and this, bro? But, but, but a mission. What? A what are you doing? Noticed by anyone. New drip. Emilia tanto no date cosmos. Oh, the fucking date. Wait. So memory of snow is gonna be the date episode? Cause like the date was. You know, promised, like, basically another fucking forced date that Subaru basically forces upon Amelia. It's never a genuine, authentic thing. It's just, like, Amelia feeling like she has a favor that she needs to return. And Subaru will be like, date So I guess, all right, let's find a location for the date. Open. No opening. <laughs> That's Petra, right? <laughs> His disguise does not help at all. The kids already know, bro. And the purple-haired girl still not around, right? That girl that broke the fucking barrier last night, gone. <laughs> Hang out with the girl. Yeah, two lovebirds, sure special. But here's the thing. I don't think Amelia is a lovebird, bro. I think these are all just pity dates. What secret? Uh-oh. Yo, no, leave these kids to Reinhardt. Hold up. No, no, no. Subaru, not you too. Subaru, you're a MILF enjoyer like me. You're not a lolicon. What's going on? Uh-oh. Petra might be a little into Subaru now. Uh-oh. Secret hideout? The flower bed. We want to bring Amelia to the flower bed. Oh. Oh, wait. Flowers are dead now. What the fuck was that? We, we see flower and then boom, dead flower. Is that symbolism? Is it, is it hinting something bad's gonna happen? Uh -oh. Why does flower show up? It got cursed. Roswell. I just realized that his hat is just. What is the point of this hat? How does it stay on? Like, it's so fucking tiny. It's a hat for Puck. It's 
straight up, this is something that Puck should be wearing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad news. Betty. Huh? What's going on, Biko? Something bad? <gasps> Ice? The fuck? Everything's been frozen? Satama. Dream. Not reset, no checkpoints, dream. Cause the fucking rom-com moment last episode, bro. Like she is demonically possessed for you now. She is so down bad. The affection meters for Rim has been built like crazy. Like she'll do anything for Subaru at this point. That's crazy. I was charging up my energy by looking at your sleeping face. Like, she has gushed beyond. It's, it's, it's... Like, she is so down bad for Subaru, and he... Does he even recognize it? Because he's too down bad for Emilia, but does he even realize that this girl is, like, willing to do anything for you now? I the windows got frozen. She's even glazing him off the temperature meters. Hey, eyes up here. Oh shit, there is winter meat outfits? Okay. I wanna see it. I do wanna see it. レムも姉様も何ほどのことではありません。もうレムはそう言うんなら。で、姉様は。レム。姉様は今朝は寒くてベッドから出たくないそうなので、少しは。Best girl Ram. Ram just sleeping in fucking nah, I'm 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 not going to work today. You go do everything with butters. なれてるってセリフの直後で。I love Ram. どうしちゃいだね。寒かろうが暑かろうが、ま、許されねえってことを姉様に。仕事でお疲れですし、たまの寒い日に寝坊くらい。Uh -oh. Look at that. She like again the the character Rem has changed so much, right? Her entire tone, like we can just drag her to do anything. She's down to just like go to hell for Subaru now. Like, and does he even know? Is he even aware that like she is literally bending backwards for him? That's why she's the best girl? Really? Your definition of a best girl. It's a girl that will mindlessly follow you no matter what. That's, that's your definition of a best girl? You want a girl to just love you no matter what, what, no matter what kind of person you are? Just mindlessly? I don't think you guys think that Rem is best girl. I think you enjoy Rem being this robotic girl that's going to do whatever for you now. If you truly loved Rem, would you say such a thing? I just want you to think about that. Just, just let that marinate in your head. <laughs> Ram, what's going on? Yeah, this might be the most pissed Ram I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen Ram stinky-eyed like this before, bro. Yo, the sass is out on extra today. Oh my god, she's even more toxic in the movie. Whoa. Secret passage? What's in there? No, no, something is in there. Keep him trapped in there. Alcohol? Oh, Lore? Roswell Lore, grandmother. Alcoholic. This is Roswell's grandma's liquor? What do you think you look like? Alright. No drinking allowed. Emilia. Yo, new drip for Emilia too. So, dude, the amount of different outfits Emilia's had throughout the last arc and in the movies right now too is crazy. Usually, like, every like character has their default outfit and it doesn't really change throughout the season. Like, Amelia's had so many different styles already. E Wonder if he'll ever, like, resort to liquor due to the trauma and the stress from regressing over and over. Actually, 
That is kind of crazy that Subaru has been raw dogging this shit. Sober. Think about that for a second. Bro has been raw dogging this Isekai challenge. Like, that is really, really respectful. Like, most people after the first one would be so depressed, they would, you know, um, figure out different crux, like, a crux to, like, lean on to, like, recreational drugs or, like, alcohol. But, like, he just sober, raw dog in this shit. Yeah, Ramji gave him a little bit of the shot, but, like, that's not really the same as, like, him drinking out of a bottle and crying because life is too hard. <laughs> I've rarely seen anime talk about drugs too. Well, it's because of anime ratings and like how is it allowed on TV or not. Even fucking Charlotte, remember the Charlotte episode 7 when the main character is supposed to go down this like bad path and like they're like rolling up like it's not weed but like they make it obscure as to what it could be the drugs. They, they don't want to like introduce too much of those elements or else like I think it gets a little restrictive and like who's allowed to view it or not. So they obviously steer away, they steer away from that. Sensei? <laughs> Sensei is different. He's just always eating painkillers. Minor. Okay, who the fuck? Who the fuck goes on an 18 plus site with the guidance of a parent or a guardian? Mom, Dad, I. Can you come here for a second? I want to access Big Booty Anime Girl website. I can't see without you beside me. Oh shit, 15? Ayo! You're not understanding. Corrupt. Corrupt goddess. Ram looks utterly disgusted with Badasu right now. Cringing, even. Let Ram go back to bed. <laughs> I feel for Ram so much right now, bro. She's like stuck in this fucking talk, this dumbass conversation between these two idiots. Ram's like, I could be in bed right now. Why? Why must I suffer? <laughs> Ooh, flower bed secret. But the flower bed. Won't it be all frozen? It's getting colder. The windows are freezing. It seems like there's like an early onset of some chills. So like the flowers, I could see them all being frozen and dead. Uh, I don't think it's happening. Emilia's response. I don't know. The sun's not coming out, bro. The, the winter is here already. <laughs> Cap lying. She panicking. Now, Amelia does have ice powers, but is she the one causing this? And she feels guilty? Therefore, she's doing shit like this? Maybe that makes sense? Bad <laughs> lying, Amelia. Cap. Cap. Bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> Peak Ram moment, bro. We had a couple of those. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Even right now, I still favor Ram over Ram. I do. Ram is just funny as fuck. Her personality is so unique. I love her. Ram? I get it. She's getting all uwu and dere dere with Subaru, but like, are you guys sure that you're not too deluded with your horniness for Rem that you can't even see that Rem is better because you're so down bad for Rem. Is this what's going on? Like, we'll let her cook. I hear this is a very impactful moment, right? This is like a very significant moment for Rem to pop off even more. But like, I, I don't know. To me, Rem is just, just a basket of petty, sassy jokes and I love everything about it. Nope. Cut off, bro. He got cut off there. He was so cringe, he literally got cut off there. The cameraman shut the fuck up. Nope. Okay. Why do you have an extra boxer brief here? Lucky boxers? Meteor! Oh? Alarm. Wait, alarm clock check. Path of daybreak. Yo, the battery? The Nokia flip phone battery is still at three bars! That's crazy. I know he hasn't really used it, right? But like, three bars still? Alarm no set. 
power of Nokia batteries, man. Oh, yeah, count the pucks. Three pucks. Four pucks. We did this before. We did this before. Yes, I remember. One appa. Two appa. Appa, Appa, one ROM, two ROM, Roswell, Roswell. Okay. <sighs> no Roswells. I'm surprised he didn't do Biko. He chose Roswell before Biko. I don't think so, man. This is Cope. Next day, it's winter. What? The Roswells we counted! Yo, I did not have to see Roswell butt crack here. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> it's like Roswell cherubs. What the fuck? That's the daybreak theme when his Nokia flip phone. Betty! What's going on, Biko? I suppose. I suppose. Hypothetical results of the hypothetical. He is just gaslighting Betty right now. He's like, what if this happens and it goes bad? How can he be so patronizing to a moment that hasn't even fucking happened? Oh, she mad as fuck. Hold up. Come on. Technical difficulty. English time. Are you already ready English time? To worry about. She'd have to make you porridge, and then she might not be able to find you at all. Okay? I'd be criticized over a hypothetical story. I suppose. I'm very busy, so don't make me repeat myself. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Kashida. Very cute. Bon journal. That's a new one. Will Rem be happy? If Subaru's date would immediately got cancelled, let's see. Oh, she is yapping right now. Holy fuck. You can tell that she's panicking. She's fucking lying right now. She's straight up on 2x speed. Did Amelia intentionally freeze everything to avoid the date with Subaru? If the whole theme of this movie is Amelia trying to prevent the dates by causing the weather to be colder, that's going to be the saddest fucking reason for a movie to exist. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. She seemed kind of excited about the date. And I thought the freezing things is like, what's, what, what's it called? I thought it was like outside her control. Like, I know there's a theme of ice powers with her, but I didn't think she was doing this intentionally. I still don't think she's doing it. The look of relief is probably because she feels proud that she fucking did all of this excuses. She rapped just now and thinks that maybe she delivered good enough an excuse and she wants to be free of the fault of accidentally freezing everything. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nah, anyway, you're gonna, you're gonna do skin to skin contact? You're gonna be cuddling with Amelia for body heat? I don't think so. Lust. Lust. <laughs> Rip says, use me! Use me! I think I got on the wrong route. I feel bad for Rem. Straight up. This girl is just getting cucked. She's like so willing to be with Subaru and then he doesn't even recognize it. And <laughs> it's funny because this is kind of how like Subaru and Amelia interact. Where you see how eager Rem is and Subaru just kind of like, just kind of like dismisses it. 
And that's kind of what happens with Amelia and Subaru too. Subaru really tries hard and Amelia's like, eh, okay, it's kind of nice, I guess. I don't know, man. Uh oh. 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 Uh this is actually dangerous. Like, you should have hypothermia at this rate. Dying of, like, low body temperature. Like, he should actually be dead. Oh, winter outfit. Winter outfit. Basically just covering up the cleavage and left shoulders. <laughs> oh, Rem and Ram were hugging each other? <laughs> Roswell, is he gonna have winter drip? Roswell, winter drip, show me. Oh, shut the fuck up. You wore the entire winter jacket, too. Oh, come on. You can't just be like, oh, come on. It's just willpower. Just walk it off. <laughs> Look at that timing. Look at that timing. Rem was ready with this snot right there, man. Who's doing this? Amelia? Puck? This is just straight up Konosuba. What the fuck? This is straight up just Konosuba, bro. <laughs> That's Aqua. That's Darkness. Kazuma. Megumin. They're good friends, are they? Is ReZero... Are... Wait, wait. Are... It was ReZero and Konosuba out there. That's good friends. Was there someone else? It was ReZero and someone else too that are good friends. I forget. Maybe it was just Konosuba and ReZero. <laughs> Hot take though. Hot take. You ready for this? I think that the Winter Shogun episode was pretty weak in season one. Relative to the other episodes, I think that Winter Shogun was definitely not as entertaining. I'm sorry, man. That's how I feel. Like... Compared to every other thing in season one, this episode was a little bit lackluster. <laughs> I would always prefer the winter cold over the summer heat, and here's why. In winter cold, you can turn the heat on, you can wear extra layers of clothing. At the very least, you can function, and it is in your control to adjust that. Summer, you can't do anything. If it hits 40 fucking degrees Celsius with humidity being high, there is nothing you can do unless you have air conditioning and if you're outside, you're fucked. Straight up, you cannot escape your skin. Summer heat is fucking hell. And as a kid, you long for the summer because it means summer break, and, but now, nah bro. Fuck summer, worst, worst season ever. I do enjoy summer nights. Summer nights are great when it's just like this cool breeze where you can wear anything and be comfortable. That is peak weather. But my God, when it gets actually fucking hot and with climate change, bro, with the summers are just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. The true hell is when it's fucking nighttime and it's still like 30 degrees Celsius, bro. It's like you're trying to sleep, but it's too hot to sleep. That is another layer of hell. What's the flower bed like? I don't actually care much for those selfish hell lines, <laughs> True, fuck them kids, bro. They suck. You should have killed them all at least one time during those runs, you know, in Arc 2, bro. Fuck them kids. Hi, hi. Tsundere, ah, I see Subaru being a little bit tsundere. He likes the kids. He's just saying that they're annoying, but when he's around them, he's very in tune with them, right? He is good with the kids. And I don't think that Subaru is a lollicon. No, no, no. Roswell and Reinhardt, absolutely. Subaru, I think he's pretty good with the kids as like a guardian. I, I would not feel suspicious leaving, you know, kids alone with Subaru. But Reinhardt and Roswell, I'm not too sure about that. It's Bibi! Ah, this is crazy! It's Bibi indeed. It's okay. Subaru's Bibi is all Rem. Rem has just changed 
it's crazy how this character is a new character bro it is unreal the difference of rem in the beginning of arc 2 and the end it's a completely different character she literally says sumibi subaru is mine oh my god it's just us meaning it's puck or amelia something is causing the freezing Two amongst us. Amelia Puck? Biko? Puck? Biko Puck? Emilio. Cheeky motherfucker. You should just tell us. Doing in there. Ooh. <laughs> Fucked up, Roswell. What the fuck? Subaru-kun. Will you now just open the door and just rush Amelia? I don't want to do it. You fucking do it. What's she doing in there? You got some explanation to do. <laughs> what do you mean good morning? No, no, we're not. What? No, the good. Don't fall for the good morning, Subaru. What are you doing? Perry. No, we're thankful that you're changing. We can get a peep in there. Holy shit! Bringing into someone's room without permission. It's. I, 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 I agree, but this is clearly a different scenario. This is out of control. What the fuck is happening here, Amelia? Don't try to reason yourself out of this. Alright. Do it over. Alright, overridden. And where's Puck? She is the worst liar ever. Like, it's just like so apparent and she's still trying to act like everything is fine. It's kind of cute because she thinks that like she's being all sneaky, but it's like, come on, girl. Puck. <laughs> she Emmy a little st stupid. She a little slow. She genuinely thought that we were fooled. Alright. Puck, what are you doing? Puck getting out of control? <laughs> She's a little bundled up. Okay, monasteration. What the fuck is monastery? Menstruation? Menstru but monastration. So like every month, Puck goes through these cycles where he can't control and the excess ice comes out. Is it's that, it's that what's going on with Puck? Monasteration. Huh, Ram doesn't need uh, the overcoat and all the earmuffs, but Ram is the only one bundled up right now. Like, look. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at how is she not your favorite twin? I see th she's just unparalleled, bro. It's crazy how good Ram is. <laughs> Uh, only a few powerful magical beings. Uh, Odo. OD. Also, apparently, Odo is German. There is an O missing here. I think this is a little mistake. But Odo apparently is German and not Japanese. Now, should I be trusting random people's comments? Probably not. Right? I'm I'm willing to go ahead and believe it. Someone did say like, it, remember that episode where I was like, "Motherfucker, how are you gonna tell me how to pronounce Odo when it's literally O D O? You can put a fucking white people like actually it's German." So I'm like, "Oh, really? Well, actually, that's different then. If it's German, I concede. But is that true? Are people just capping? I don't know." Tell us, Ram. She sucks in the cold. Okay, Ram. Damn, Ram! Jesus, Ram! What the fuck? Okay, 
before she's at least funny with the jokes and how shit shits on us. Now she's just straight up just telling us to die. <laughs> Explain. Odo is the vessel of magical power. It stores the mana absorbed through your gate. But think of it as like a little another bottle, a container for mana, right? Stores the mana absorbed through the gate, and if you can break that, then that's what happens with Puck coming out, and that's our like Amelia's like last uh, trump card, right? <laughs> Everyone's so pissed off today. So think of it like a container, right? We're trying to get all the mana in there, but even despite having... Like, Puck should have a huge Odo, right? Because Puck is a pretty strong being. I wonder how big Roswell is. <laughs> now we're comparing fucking Roswell and Puck's size in a different way, but yeah. And like, it's overflowing right now. So now it's just excess mana is coming out. Which is interesting because I thought that like it takes so much mana for Puck to simply exist by being manifested here. So Puck could simply just exist and the mana would, you know, be cleared off. But I don't know. Sure. <laughs> 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 yes. Betty took that shit so seriously, bro. She got so pissed off there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it is. When I was living in the forest with Leah, I was able to release enough energy. Forest? Before they got to the mansion. Because we don't know exactly how they even arrived at the mansion. Hmm. Or in lore. They just lived in the forest before? In the mountains? テヘヘじゃねえよ。パケソキ。ことならもんくは言わねえ。けど、この3日で急激に影響強まっ。ちょ、少しずつやってたんだよ。と、さもくなっても誰も何も言わないから。そう、言われるな。これもうちょっといけ
Oh shit, we're getting a hot spring episode? We're getting a fucking bath hot spring episode? <laughs> You spamming this shit, Rev? Is this, is this gonna be a running gag forever? Anytime Subaru suggests something, I'm in total awe! It looks like it. You, you did this? You. I thought this is simply the waves of the water being frozen in that direction, but Rem did this for Subaru. Sasuka Subaru this. Okay. Didn't know he loved mayo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the? What did that happen? I don't remember this shit. Redconning this. Okay. What the? Dog girl rev, it just, it, it, it's just like to me, this shift in character is so jarring. I, I just am speechless, you know, because like if we just watched a couple episodes ago, you would never guess she'd be like this. But after episode eleven and you know the whole affection building up for Subaru, like different character entirely. Give her a head pat. So mean. Okay. Ew. Ew. Hey, the fire here. No, Puck. Puck. I don't wanna die. Okay. Oh, Does that mean what I think it does? Shooting ice into the sky? That would probably create some sort of global hazard, though. I, I bet the entire world would be frozen if Puck did that. <laughs> Puck sometimes scares the shit out of me. That one time, remember when Puck did the fucking biting shit, bro? It's like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ram, right, Ram. The attending putting mana into her horn place. Look at that, see? Shine away there. Look at the Ram there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, right? Ram's like. Uh... At nighttime, you know. She gets on his lap. Okay. Dude, we just. We just cast aside her joke, dude. It's just we just corrected her. She's she thought that she she says something funny, and we're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, yo, Monastery, careful! Hmm. Biko, Roswell, right? Exceptional magic users. Puck. Hmm. Like, I know Roswell's the greatest magician. I know Betty's gotta be super important. Puck's a great spirit, but like, very OP people we have in the mansion here. Just exists, right? Else. I'd like to see Elsa in the movie still. That'd be that would be nice. I want to see Elsa back. Oh my goodness. Oh oh my oh my goodness. Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. Other than that, it'd be when Roswell came to pick up Emilia from the forest, because because Puck and Amelia were in the forest together. They grew up in the forest. What the fuck does that even mean? But they were like in the mountains and Roswell picked them up. Okay. Because like, how did they even show? How did even Roswell even know? Right? Because like Roswell, I still feel like it was all planned. Like the Oni sisters picking them up when the witches caught this attack. I don't know. I need to know more about Roswell lore. <laughs> 
あああれは確かに刺激的でした受けたのは人生で初めてのことだったかもしれませんラスベルセスラスベルセスパック But I thought you were picking up Amelia Now it looks like Roswell's here to fucking kidnap Amelia and Puck is defending. So, like, yeah, what? Okay, oh, yeah, maybe this is being exaggerated right now. Maybe this actually didn't fucking happen. And what really happened? We draw the map? Wait, wait, this all happened. This is, this is, this is real. This is real. This is, this is all fucking real. We draw the map? They, they, they destroyed, like, the landscape. Their battle over a day was straight up that one piece fucking Akaino versus Aokiji like destroying the actual landscape as it exists they had to recreate a fucking map okay so if Roswell is the greatest magician in the Dragon Kingdom Puck is a great spirit but like I feel like Roswell is stronger than Puck so far but now what if I think what, what if I'm like disrespecting Puck right now what if Puck is actually stronger than Roswell Oh no. What the This fight is crazy. This is this insane, bro. What the fuck? What is this? I want to see them in an actual fight. No more flashback recaps. I want to see a real fight. I don't know who Tanapaka is. とにかく本当にごめんね。パックと森にいた頃はあんまり迷惑かける相手もいなくて、初巻なかったの。いや、もうこれ以上謝ることはないって。開けない夜はない、ない。オッケー。スタックのスタックカズユセイダー。ゴ
clearly they're setting this up. Amelia Boomer? I don't even know how old she is. Maybe she's super old. Maybe she's from the fucking past and she knows a lot of old things and that's why it's getting mentioned over and over again. <laughs> Betty not playing? We gotta bring Beko outside, bro. We gotta, we gotta fucking throw a snowball at Beko, bro. You gotta come outside and play with us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Beiko's jealous of Subaru and Amelia, right? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything romantic between Beiko and Subaru. No, no, no. I don't think so at all. Come play. You're holding back. Cap! You're doing the equivalent of... Walking in public, then seeing somebody that you might know, and then opening your phone and, uh, and opening the fucking weather app and looking like you're fucking busy. You lying to me right now. You ain't reading shit. Not a kid. <laughs> a new one this time. Buenos Aires. Hmm. She should come outside and play with us, though. Buenos <laughs> Aires! <gasps> wrath! Oh, wrath! Taste the wrath of the white terror. <gasps> wrath mentioned! Oh my god! <laughs> you fuck these kids up. Yeah, oh. <laughs> fuck, that's cheating! I wanted to see him just throw a shitload of fucking snowballs at these kids, but come on. What is that? A little rat? A little oh, bunny? Yuki Very cute, Petra. <laughs> Very cute bunny. Wow, it's got fucking... What, what is that supposed to be? Ears? Wow. <laughs> Petra, very cute. Wings? The rabbit getting wings? Missiles! Okay, this is no longer a bunny. Petra looks very sad. It looks cool. It's actually really... The design here is really amazing, but Petra don't want this shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you Petra Loki, the best kid! This has already solidified Petra in their rankings of the kids. I like Petra the most. Petra was super robot to your real robot to attack. No, I don't think so at all. It's just Bunny. She wants Bunny. Biko, come play! Subaru and Betty are going to play together. Yeah, Betty, get on it! I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. What the fuck are you making, Amelia? I'm sorry. Why are you so, like... You trying to make a snowman? Like, what is this? It looks like a giant turd. There's no shape, it's just a turd. Who are you so proud of? <laughs> oh wait, no, no, give her time. She, she's gonna sculpt it now. She's she gonna make it actual designs now. Alright, Betty, come play with us. I will grace you with my companionship for a little while. I suppose you should be grateful. Okay, I'm very grateful, Beiko. What are they gonna make? Yo, can someone make an Elsa one? I want a Ramji. Ramji, Elsa, Big Booba Girl, what else is there? Roswell. Roswell should be here making his own sculpture, but it's like a naked statue. Why the fuck is the bald shaman dog showing up, bro? Are you serious? You making a fucking... I mean, it's showing up twice now in the intro scene of Subaru's story and the snow figure. この裏金も自信作です。寒い時に子供と遊べば、そう忘れよう。インパクト重視は俺好みだし、心身は評価したい。俺の採点は7点。トメイドズ。What's Amelia making? Ah, 
魔法はけません自分の手で勝利をつかむのよ Says the girl that fucking uses a spear to fight on behalf of her. I understand it's a snow building competition, but come on. <laughs> What's she making? Is she making pot? Zekke kana, Zekke kana. Tokoro de kono yotare ga tanto shite ru no? Me! Rozuchi to. Oh, Rozuchi? Wait, no, he's a fake villain chief though. Was this not established? This dude is senile and has dementia and is thinking he's the chief of the village and everyone just goes along with it, right? Hmm. Alright. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 What's the fucking prize? An invitation for a date? What is it? Emil's going to win? She's like, whoa, I won! <laughs> Your prize is <laughs> a date with me. It's like, ugh. What the fuck? Don't no, no. like, he's very romantic? I don't know, he's just like caring a lot, but Rem and Ram? What do they got? Show me it. The Rem Rem sisters collab. Is it actually gonna be good? I mean, Rem is talking big right now. Superior artistry. Show me it. Yeah, honestly, I could have totally seen you sleeping in. Yeah, so fuck this shit. I'm just gonna sleep inside. Peak Ram! What is it? What the fuck? It's a face. It's a face or something. We call it the wonderful Subawal. Because Rem loves Subaru and Ram loves Roswal. And now we're about to get an abomination. We're about to get a combination of the two? What the fuck is it gonna look like? Damn! You know what? You know what? It looks pretty fucking cool! I thought it looked like an abomination! But, I mean, this is basically Subaru. I mean, sorry, this is basically Roswell with Subaru's like bangs being slicked up. That's pretty much it. Pretty cool. Kinda looks like a Beyblade or like a Yu Gi Oh character, man. This congregation. What do you think, bro? Do you like it, Roswell? Uh oh. His face is telling me he's disgusted by this, bro. Come on! Ram's so peak! Ram's so peak! So much personality, bro! Uh oh. Four? One score worse than five? Are you serious? Poor Ram. Honestly, it didn't even look that bad. It looks pretty good. Wah, wah. Is <laughs> so uh, just a tad disturbing. Exactly. It's not a sculpture that looks bad. It's just the concept, right? <laughs> you, you can't just blame everything on Barusu. What the fuck? Blame Barusu. Always blame Barusu. And that shit felt like a fucking tournament arc, man. This shit is a tournament arc. Oh, what's going on, Amelia Tan? I mean, <laughs> this. I mean, you're playing a fucking song right now. It's gonna be like a best one ever, right? What'd you make? Roz. Wow. Plus. 
I think it looks good. Weird ambiance. That's not a compliment, I don't think. <laughs> it's his pose, bro. Yeah, it is. Do the pose. Yeah, do that pose. A bad, nasty look. Hey, this gotta be racist. Hey, this gotta be racist as fuck right now. <laughs> I understand that there's a running gag of Subaru having like mean, cold eyes. <laughs> but this <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hey, no way. <laughs> oh no, his head. Ah, he dead. Uh oh, guys. I think this is foreshadowing. The Subaru might die in the future. Oh my god. <laughs> so proud of that. Put a ribbon on him. I mean, you never know in her prime. Like, like, like 70 years ago, she might have been cooking up a storm. You, you never know, bro. Super Wall. Yeah, it's not about the rankings. It's about us having fun. What's Biku making? What's Emilia making? Snowball fight! No! Don't give me a PowerPoint presentation. Animate it, goddammit! Betty's trying really hard. Yes, slice of life moments. Everyone here is gonna die, and I'm gonna feel sad about this shit. They're giving a lot of- I'm surprised at the amount of fan service they're giving us with the granny character too. I thought that like, she'd be like a one and done thing, but it's, it's kind of nice that they're actually, you know, bringing her back into like, OV is like this and giving her a little bit more characterization. What the f fuck is this? Is that Puck? It's Puck. I, I, I think this is Puck right here. <laughs> Nine out of thirty. I mean, look at it. Biko got seven. I don't even know what Betty fucking made. I have no clue what these objects are. The puck's face is demented here, dude. This looks like the fucking cart titan. Straight up, look at Puck's face here. This shit straight out of Attack on Titan. That crawling girl. They're both pucks? That's a disturbing face! That is actually a nightmare face, dude! <laughs> Puck had to squish his face in to look like it! <laughs> what about Betty's, bro? What the fuck is that? Petra! <laughs> it won? It act- <laughs> The mecha buddy thing. It, well, I'm surprised Roswell gave that much a higher rating on it. Okay. Really? Roswell loved this? Yeah, because Subaru made this shit. It's Subaru's own fucking creation here. Cheaters. Cheaters, bro. The colluding. What a Petro win. Oh my. The potato chips, bro. The one that Romji ate a while ago, but that was a different run. It's still around? What about the tonkatsu? Fucking ramen cup. Petra eating potato <laughs> chips for the first time! <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. If only there was a meteor that could, you know, take times of... I don't know, pictures, you know? I could take pictures of this and have a nice little memory. Okay, that's not a puck. That is straight up a cult member. You cannot tell me this is supposed to be Puck. This is a cult member. It's got the pointy hat. It's a cult member, bro. Beast, we having a dinner? Biko's a cult member, bro. Biko cult member confirmed. Oh shit, Amelia's got the dead mom drip out again. We saw that one time. Kanpai! 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 Peek! 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 Yeah, she should've just straight drank from the fucking bottle, bro. Ram burping, bro? <laughs> Ram peek! さすがスバル様。大丈夫ですよ。代わりにスバル君の寝顔を今夜は普段。
it's getting kind of scary. Yeah, it's, it's all cute and nice, right? But it's kind of it's getting kind of disturbing. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> she's getting un <laughs> Rem is becoming unhinged, bro. <laughs> You invited me over instead of Ram tonight? You want to tend to me instead tonight? Yeah, they do, I guess. Yeah, you as a type try to look cool by engaging in indulgent vices. He, he ain't wrong. Bro, straight up, the sins. But it is actually amazing that Subaru has been just raw dogging this. I, 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 like, throughout all the regression and the depression, it is still mind-boggling. But he's a minor, right? He's like, he's never obviously done that. She's like 17, so it makes sense. 18 this year. We're a baby to her, man. How old are you? How old are you? <laughs> 13. We had the emotional maturity of a 13-year-old in her eyes. I want you to understand this. A 13-year-old constantly begging for fucking dates. It's even worse than I thought. Like, we straight up have no fucking chance with this girl. Like, she rounded it up to 13 after saying 12. Like, it is... Again, I don't think that she ever saw Subaru as a man. Maybe the first run. Maybe the first run. That first one was a really great run. But I just don't think that there is romantic intent between the two. If anything, it's a one-sided love. In fact, it's actually very funny right now, right? Rem's one-sided love to Subaru. And Subaru's one-sided love to Amelia. And Amelia loves... Puck! That's crazy. That is younger than Felt. Felt's 15. That's fucked up. How old are you? How old are you? Excuse me? I never doubted that. If you were 13, that maybe. <laughs> well, why would that make you a criminal? I don't know. Ask Reinhard. Ask Roswell. Ask, ask them what they're doing with their kids. You just fucking sliding in a fucking pedo joking right now, trying to be all slick. Bro, that's insane. Okay. Let Puck get drunk. Dude, Roswell is such demon lord material, man. Straight up. Just needs to be standing outside of a wind, like in front of a window, spinning to shit, and then lightning strikes down. Like, this dude's gotta be the Grand Wizard. He is the Grand Wizard of the fucking cult, bro. I, it's in my head cannon. Oh. Oh. Oh, she drunk. Oh, we got a drunk Amelia? Oh, shit. Uh oh. We got Tipsy Amelia? <laughs> she loves eating snacks when she's drunk. <laughs> and the hiccups, bro. <laughs> Lap pillow? Yeah, that's a lap pillow! We gave a lap pillow back?! <laughs> Poor Rem. Poor Rem, bro. Oh, what the fuck? That's kinda cute. The fuck? She should've brought the dog ears out, too. Cause she's like jealous, right? And she wants to do a little something, trying to... I don't know, get his attention, little bite. Where's Ram at? <laughs> Amelia? That's three Subarus. I think she's drunk too. So drunk Ram, drunk Amelia. Where's drunk Ram at? Yes. It is nice to see like a completely different side of these characters, man. Double lap pillow. Double lap pillow. <laughs> Ram. 
Really? Ram don't care. So do you think Rem is lying right now? Rem straight up is putting up an act to act drunk in order to get like Subaru's affection? I don't know. <laughs> That's a second burp. <laughs> Dude, Ram burp, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's just bathing puck in alcohol. <laughs> Where's Biko at? Biko! Biko, what you doing out there all alone? Man, Biko's always got this like edgy side of her where she's just always trying to be a loner. Go pull her hair. Boing, boing. Oh my god. What the <laughs> Ram always ready. Okay, Biku, what's going on, girl? Why are you sad? Yeah, she had 400 years old. Really? Okay, Puck older than 400 confirmed. Roswell? Not older than 400. I thought he would be super old too. <laughs> No, 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 no. They are in a nice position. Where's the Nokia flip phone, bro? Where is it when you most need it? Mushoku Tensei is willing to do underage drinking with Julie, the dwarf slave, who is actually underage. But Re Zero is <laughs> good enough to prevent underage drinking, even if the lolly is 400 years old. <laughs> no need to, no need to cause <laughs> friction there. Okay. That's right! The constellations are all Beyblades. Each battle creates drama. Beyblade lower constellation. Pegasus! Okay. Pro does not know anything about the. Also, the constellations are gonna be different here. It's a fucking isekai world. There's no way it's gonna be the same. Cap! You making shit up! Ram and Ram. <laughs> Triple Suwarakum, bro. Yeah, the stars. Oh, also, isn't Subaru uh, named after a star, right? Subaru is not named after the car brand. No, it's after a star. So it's kind of interesting how we're doing the constellations right now. Oh. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Ram hated that. Ram hated that. Named after a star. What kind of star? So, Subaru is beyond planetary level. He's in that solar system level as a star. But with star power scaling, it gets a bit interesting as... The size of a star is inversely proportional to the power compared to other things. So the smaller the star you are, the stronger you are. Cruel parrots? Jesus! So mean. Okay. Drunk puck. Lesser spirit? Oh, they're coming out. Snow spirit showing up for maybe Subaru? Happy ending, I think, incoming. Okay, that's just a fucking dick, bro. You just drawing dicks here, bro. Oh, Betty. The snow spirits in Konosuba? Nice reference. More Konosuba friendship. It was. Bako, come on. <laughs> I suppose it was a little fun. Oh my god, Betty. She's a fucking Asian dad, man. <laughs> like, that, that's a good thing, right? When, when, they'll never say, good job, right? Asian parents will never say, good job, you did good, I'm proud of you. They'll be like, 
<laughs> Not bad, I guess. Permissible. <laughs> That's a compliment! <laughs> Are you sure? Yo! Puck is about to destroy the capital! Yo, 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 yo! Snow! Yo, we better see the Appa salesman here. We better see Mr. Appa guy. Where's Ramji at? Who? No, I remember this night guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw the openings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are important characters. Who? The cat girl that you guys are like, oh, he doesn't fucking know. <laughs> cat girl. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, pussy. And that's uh, other people. More other characters. There's a. Uh, I don't know. He just looks like a Sebastian to me. Cat? Cat? Felt right. <laughs> He ain't beating the allegations, bro. <laughs> Reinhardt ain't beating the allegations. What's he doing? Felt is running away. Go away, you creep. Someone call the cops. <laughs> My lady, I am the cop here. Appa guy. Appa guy. Ramji? Ramji. That's so fucked up, bro. That like Reinhardt broke apart this family by stealing Felt. Romji is a lone man, and I bet Reinhardt didn't even pay for the fucking insurance coverage of his cellar getting destroyed. Oh, you got the bandits? The bandits in episode one? I don't know this character. Oh! Cult members! Cult members, bro! Holy shit! Dude, there's so many of them with their pointy hats! That's a that's a fucking dangerous smile. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Subaru kun to no ose. They never fucking get along, man. Beiko and Roswell, I don't know what their history is, but like this OVA, the more I think about it, it feels like the OVA was really all about Beiko at the end of the day to give her a good time. Because she seems like there's something wrong with her, you know? There's some issue that she's dealing with, and she's always holed up in the library. And it felt like the OV was just about trying to drag Biko out. Show her a fun time, you know? Biko, what's your baggage? She can't, why? Oh, so Betty. Apple juice. Really? Hmm. Mom mentioned. Mom said don't drink alcohol. Okay. Nah, Cap. I think that Subaru definitely has some sort of role here, right? Subaru has been integral in, like, bringing Betty out of the shell. It's just like, I don't know what she's all about, her lore, her past. It's like, what kind of darkness or sadness is she hiding? But you can clearly see that there's something huge there that we haven't uncovered. No, it is important. Every time she says something, it's the other way around. Sasuga Subaru-kun. The end? I think that's the end, man. No, not yet. Wait, wait, wait. Hatsumaki no koto. Sore nara, anna fu ni yakimoki shita jikan mo nakute sunda no ni ne. Demo, dareka ni makasekiri ni suru yona ko ni sodatcha dame da yo. Don't be dependent. Tenni oe nakute mo, sore ga wakaru made wa jibun de gan. Hey, father. Hai, wakatte mas. Yoroshi. Subaru ga nante itta ka oboete ru? Not really. Mata, lakke tsu wa yagaru to omoun da kedo, ano ko nara honto ni omoun ni suru ni shita na kita suru ne. He has it. 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 I, I don't know what it is. It's like a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. Yeah, are, are we still gonna be at the mansion? Or the village is gonna be alive by next year? A lot of things can happen in one year, bro. A lot of things have already changed in a matter of days, so like... That's a good point Puck is bringing up. A lot of foreshadowing here, right? Like, 
for sure things are not gonna be the same. Hmm, because he's gonna... Yeah, because he throws himself there as Amelia's like knight in shining armor. Hmm. But like, bitch, you fucking say that you get tired by simply existing in this form because it drains so much mana. How the fuck could you possibly have an overflow? Like, that's the part where it doesn't make sense to me. So, so, yeah. Hmm? I think I think so. The whole conversation without seeing Emilia's eyes is. Kind of weird to me right now. What's going on with Amelia? Okay. The entire time we couldn't see her face. The 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 date. Wow, we're actually going on that date, huh? But it's gonna get skipped. The OB is ending. Cap. One hour early. Another new Amelia drip, bro. How many more outfits is there? Alright. Happy ending. We're not gonna see this date though. Will the date start in episode 12? Or will it just like be off screens? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Memory of Snow. Yes, I see that comments. Yes, there's a date in the Casino Gamba that we can probably farm later. But this OVA, it's pretty good. Pretty damn good, man. There's a lot of, I guess, foreshadowing here and there. Rem. Just being completely different is just like throwing me off. But we know that Rem has changed significantly. It's just, you know, Sasuga Subarakun. You know, she spammed that like so many times, which is funny as fuck. And if you really think about it, this whole thing was like having like a snow festival and having fun with everyone. But it feels like, for whatever reason, Biko is the most important person in this OVA. There is this sadness in her eyes. For whatever reason, she cannot like be honest with herself. And this goes beyond just her tsundere appeal. There's something off there, and Subaru is obviously trying to get her out of the shell, but I don't think the Biko arc is, you know, gonna happen just yet. She seems to be, you know, pretty important late game content, or at least relatively to the anime that's been out so far. Other than that, a lot of cute slice of life moments. Roswell showed a lot more different personality today. I loved it. Ram, clutch as all hell. Drunk Amelia, drunk Ram. Did not even expect that to ever happen, but that was so cute. And just a fantastic Christmas-like episode to kind of just like leave it there. And we are now ready to get into the Royal Selection exam arc something. And the movie, we'll probably watch it after season one. And that's it from me, if you're still here. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.